We're at Auto Club Speedway in Fontana, California for the PSEA Test and Tune Session on Friday. Behind us, our Vortex Supercharged 2011 Mustang that's pumping out 600 horsepower to the rear tires. We drove it here, we're going to drive it home, and we're going to show you how we picked up 170 horsepower to the rear tires of this 2011 GT. We started our 2011 Mustang project just like any other project starts with the basic bolt-on. So we did the SCT tune, air rate intake, JPC header back. We made 428 rear wheel horsepower as is and ran a best of a 780 in the eighth mile. We knew we wanted to take the next step with our forced induction fix. That's why we turned to Vortex Superchargers. We've been making superchargers for over 20 years to see what kind of power numbers we can put out with their basic system. Vortex Superchargers have been making supercharging systems since the Fox Body era. To mark this 20th anniversary, they decided to make this limited edition blackout system. The blackout system is really nice because it's sleek and gives you a really OEM feel underneath the hood. We do know that with the Vortex systems, Terry Reeves had took one of the prototype kits well into the 1080s right off the bat. All right, so we got about four runs under our belt now. Car's been performing great. Cutting about 160, 60 foot times. That's with the lowered suspension and the um, Mickey Thompson drag radial. So really good on that. After the 60 foot, we kind of take an easy shift in at like 6,500 RPM, letting out about 1,000 feet. We don't have a roll cage in the car yet. We can't run fast 1150s without getting kicked out. We'll put the uh, cage in it, get the competition air inlet in there, get the rinse be tuned, and 10 should be no problem. Any assembly first starts at the disassembly, and as you see, the front bumper cover is taken off our Mustang, so we've taken the air rate intake system off, taken the fan shroud out, drained the coolant system, taken some of our coolant hoses off, and our factory coolant um, reservoir. This massive three and a half inch thick Vortec front mount intercooler. This thing's gonna support 1,000 horsepower, no problem. Next, we're gonna get into installing the bracket system on the motor, and then we'll check back with you then. All right, we're in the second phase of our installation here. We got our new coolant overflow tank installed, uh, new coolant lines ran. Um, also, as you can probably tell, throttle body's off the car, but normally it sits like this. With the drive motor on the side over here, it can create some interference with the supercharger. Vortec includes a spacer and has you invert it. It doesn't hurt anything. And with this, you get proper uh, clearance to the supercharger. And with supercharger in mind, we have the bracket system on the car. It uses all the factory holes on the uh, front of the motor here for threading purposes to hold the inner bracket in. You have the idlers and your drive pulleys in here in your outer shell. The Vortec will actually bolt right in here. So Sean's behind us finishing up the supercharger installer in our 2011 Mustang and we got Mike Regan here from Vortec Superchargers. He's the engineering manager. Now, Mike, what is the difference between the uh, 4.6 and the 5.0 systems? The main differences are the supercharger location. The 2011 places it on the passenger side. The previous Model 3 valve is on the driver's side. Uh, mass air type on the 2011 is a blow-through. Um, it's on the pressure side of the supercharger. The earlier three valve uh, employs a draw-through. And the, probably the, the third difference is the charge air cooler type. The 2011 we use an air-to-air -air, uh, with three-inch mandrel bent aluminum tubing. And the earlier 2005 to 2010 uses an air-to-water type. Currently we have our smog uh, certification uh, in process. Vortec does offer a 2011 Mustang limited powertrain warranty that covers up to three years, 36,000 miles of the vehicle's total mileage. And you can get all the information on that on Vortec's website. Now let's go back to Sean as he finishes up the install on our 2011 Mustang. We're pretty much wrapped up underneath the engine bay here. As you can see, the V3 SI trim, 20th anniversary black kit is on the uh, 2011 Mustang. This comes pre-oiled from Vortex, so you don't have to worry about it. Oh, we also got our GT500 52-pound injectors. Um, the factory air boxes here, k inner filter panel is inside. They do also offer a cold air race system. Vortex has is good for about three quarters of a pound of boost due to the less restriction and about 25 horsepower.
The Vortec Tune is super safe right out of the box. Gives you really, really conservative air fuel ratio numbers, but we wanted to turn it up a little bit, but still keep our air fuel ratio safe. So we turned to Brent White over at Brent Speed to develop a tune for us. This gave us an increase of 35 horsepower and 30 pound-feet of torque comparing the Vortec Tune to Brent Speed Tune on the stock air box, and also 26 horsepower and 21 pound-feet of torque comparing the competition air inlet on the stock tune versus the Brent Speed Tune. This gave us total power numbers of 595 horsepower and 475 pound-feet of torque. With a little extra tuning, 600 horsepower is totally feasible. The great thing about this Vortex system is that it's just so easy to drive. It drives just like a normal car. The boost is very linear, so that means it comes in with the power band. So boost just keeps coming all the way through the RPM band. We'll give you a little sample here. So that's 530 horsepower to the tires as is. We have the ability to go all the way up to 600 horsepower with a tune and an intake. Now you're talking about a car that you have AC, cruise control, stereo, I can throw the drag rails in the trunk, go to the track and run low 11 second or high 10 second quarter mile times with no problem.